so we are still on our facebook timeline design adobe photoshop class so let me just press ctrl minus i mean ctrl plus zero to zoom to the entire canvas so that we can see how the text is being aligned with the banner so we need to just select all the text by press shift key and our keyboard and select the last layer last text layer then we have to go to edit now sorry so edit then look for free transform so oh just push it so something wrong so i have to so mistakenly press something wrong here so i have to shift key and select the last layer then i have to go to edit and uh, free transform so i need to drag this up a little bit okay so i have to click on this to accept it that way so what i'm going to do again is that i'm going to have a adding text so i'll go back to my text tools again then i'll type another text so we have creative agency okay so i'll press ctrl a to highlight the text so i will come to the home tab here and change the font size to let me see 12. wow this is much so we change it back to let's see 8. this much let's see 6. okay so i will select the agents a uh, the creative shift key and take use my backward arrow key right so i'll come to the home tab here sorry this is much so I need only creatives. I have to take back some of step. So I have to take it back. So I need only creative. I will change the color with this blue. Then I will come to the text property here. I will change the font to bold. And I will click on my pick tools. So I will drag this here and make sure it is aligned with the text. Something like this. So now this can be the category of our studio work, right? So we can just take this up a little bit like this. Then we have to locate this three layer. Shift key and select this. So we have to press Ctrl T before we can move. So we drag this down a little bit. All right. So this can be the studio work and say we can just come back to our text property here in the MS Word. Then I'll copy another text, Ctrl Z to make a copy. So how we have to draw another text box here in the background layer. 
so i have to look for the background layer here so i will select my text tools again and draw a straight text frame down here I'll type and press Ctrl A to highlight. So I have to change the color to this black here. So I have to change the font type from bold to medium. Now let me try light. Light. Then I have to reduce the font size to let's see three. type 3 there then i will press ctrl v to paste the whole text ctrl a let me increase the font size to let's see four four then we press ctrl v to paste the text valid number between this and that okay so I think I'm having issue with font size here. So I press Ctrl here again. So I will increase it back to let's see six. Okay. Then let me recopy the text from the MS Word here. Ctrl Z. Then I'll press V again to paste. Okay, so you can press Ctrl A again to highlight. So I want to reduce the font size now. So probably everything is going to look very nice. Let me see for now. So I can expand the test frame down here. Thing two line is okay. line is okay then i will change the text position to I'm having with having issue here okay so i will change this position to this Then I can select my move to now. Something's wrong with the text. Something's wrong. Okay. 
I'll press Ctrl Z. Uh, let me redraw my text frame again and draw a new. Oh, sorry. Ctrl Z. So let me go back to text again, text tools, and I will draw another text frame. So I don't know what happened with that. So I press Ctrl T to open the transform tool, then V to paste. So this is exactly what I'm looking for, and I'll click on my pick tools to accept it. So we can make sure that everything is aligned. Then we look for we are creative agency layer. Then I'll press Ctrl key and select the new text layer. I'll press Ctrl T to open the transform tool so i can drag the whole thing up a little bit and make sure it's aligned to the bottom text like this then i'll click on this to accept it so we can go back to this black layer and this is where we are going to input our contact information for for the business because by the time we upload it on our facebook is going to appear at the top so that it's very much easy for people to contact us so at this point here we can go back to my file here i'll click on open so i need some icons so i have to look for where do i have them okay so i need to uh, where is it? I should have it here. Desktop. I have to scroll down. Okay, here is it. Then, then I click on opened. So here yeah, I need call icon web icon so let me take this first this is where i need it corporate facebook timeline so i need it here so then press ctrl t to open the transform tools so i have to drag it down then shift key and alternative key to resize So I will drag this here. So I will double click the layer thumbnail here and change the color to this type here. And I'll click on OK. Then I'll go back to my text tools now and make a type to type the phone number. So I have to change the color from black to white and I click on OK so I put my phone number here 234807490 so I'm going to put my business line here so I have to press Ctrl A to open the transform tools then I can increase the size So you need to make it bold. Then I'll click on my move tools now, and uh, I'll take the phone number here, something like this. So at this point now we have done with our simple corporate Facebook timeline design in. Uh, Adobe Photoshop. So what I'm going to do now is to save this file 
in PSD file first before I take it to my Macom. So I have to go to file now to see how we can save the file. We'll go to file, then save as. So we have to locate. So I'm saving this to my desktop and click on save. Then I'll click on OK. Right, so we have done with our Facebook timeline cover design in Adobe Photoshop. So let's see how we use mock up in Adobe Photoshop, right?